Hello, and welcome to this session on Click and the Google Cloud Cortex framework. We'll be discussing how to drive SAP value and innovation on Google Cloud with Click. Let's start by discussing what the Google Cloud Cortex framework is. You might have heard that Google Cloud is investing heavily in accelerating innovations for SAP customers with their new Google Cloud Cortex framework. It's designed to be a scenario-driven approach to accelerate cloud innovation and business outcomes with an initial focus on providing a rich set of building blocks and templates for customers looking to modernize with the best of enterprise partners like Click and Google Cloud-based solutions and technology specifically like Google Cloud BigQuery for data warehousing. With Click as their strategic Google Cloud Cortex framework partner, Customers can modernize data analytics and derive real-time, actionable value faster, leveraging the power of Click and Google Cloud together. Customers can easily integrate all of their core SAP data with additional enterprise data sets and use advanced analytic cloud services to enable powerful analytical and predictive outcomes. Under this Google Cortex framework, customers can accelerate faster by leveraging the best of Google Cloud and Click Solution Accelerators for SAP. Combining these two powerful solutions together gives SAP customers a great head start on getting that business value extracted from that SAP content that they've had locked away for so long. So why the Google Cloud Cortex framework? Why now? What's the rationale behind this project? Well, it's about reducing risk, complexity, and also cost and accelerating the ability to get that data into the people that make decisions hands faster. For example, in a study with SAP Insider, Google found that a majority of SAP enterprises struggle with getting started on modern data analytics because of the lack of quality data integration. A deeper comprehension of how SAP works helps users understand the value behind Google Cloud Cortex framework and click solution accelerators for SAP. SAP ERP implementations vary across customers, and there are many ba business baseline modules such as AP, AR, FICO, SD, MM, etc. And what we find is 70% of the content in these SAP implementations is standard reusable content, the remaining 30% being custom content that's been modified for each customer. But what's interesting is with so much in common across all SAP customers, Click has built a series of repeatable and scalable solutions we call the SAP Accelerators, to help users get started with Google Cloud faster. We offer these starter kits that cover the process of continual data integration from SAP into BigQuery, data warehouse transformation within BigQuery, cataloging, and then also creating data marts of that content for analytics and prepackaged analytical content for these common business scenarios like orders to cash or material management or financial analytics. Let's discuss a little bit about what the Click SAP accelerators provide for the Google Cloud Cortex framework. We start by using the SAP extractors, that layer of abstraction above base tables to pull the data out of SAP using that pre-formatted business content, using Click Replicate to move the data and keep it synchronized with change data capture, we then turn that information from its raw shorthand German state into analytical warehouses and analytical data marts. We're able to then catalog that information and provide pre-built analytical applications for consumption of that transformed data. The Click SAP accelerators provide pre-built business content for several key SAP core systems including financial analytics, inventory management, orders to cash, and procure to pay. Now, some of these are actually cross-module. For example, orders to cash includes accounts receivable so that we can track DSO from an order all the way through payment. These are the foundations of what we talked about in the previous section around being able to provide this end-to-end -end pre developed content for SAP customers. Let's dig into how this works with the Google Cloud Cortex framework powered by Google BigQuery. Starting on the left side, we're going to take information out of systems. In this case, uh, we're discussing SAP. Take that data, replicate it in real time into Google BigQuery. 
using Click Replicate. At that point, what we're going to do is take that information using Click Compose and transform it from raw shorthand German data into a data warehouse, a best practice data warehouse, data vault style warehouse, and all of that ETL code is pushed down into Google BigQuery to transform. We will then take that warehouse and build on top of it real-time data marts for analytics, also being created inside of Google BigQuery. Then we will access that information with our analytical platforms, click, uh, and of course things like Looker as well would be supported against those data marts. But this whole system is powered by Google BigQuery and of course the Google Cloud Cortex framework. Let's take a look at what the execution of the SAP Click accelerators look like inside of the Google Cloud Cortex framework. We're going to go ahead and start inside of Click Replicate. This is where we start by connecting up to the SAP system. In this case, it's an on-prem uh, ECC system. We are going to use the extractors to pull that information from that SAP system and land the data into Google BigQuery. Now, this is, of course, raw, untransformed information, five-digit uh, German shorthand codes, and let's take a look at what exactly we're moving over in this replication and change data capture process. You can see that it is just the standard information. Now, what's important is we actually are adding data types uh, to the data as we move it, which is very important, and the numeric strings and dates. So we're getting that data turned into real database information inside of Google BigQuery. And that's it. We start, we run the process, we move the data, and then we keep it synchronized. The next step is to take that information that's been landed inside of Google BigQuery and transform it into analytics-ready information. The first thing that we do is we add the business value of transforming those five-digit shorthand German codes into usable information by actual humans that can read real languages. And so what we can see here, instead of an ERDAT, that's a created on date. Or I can look at a, uh, a Bellner and understand that's a document number. So being able to, first of all, transform that information, this can be done in any metadata that is supported inside of the SAP system in any language. After adding this business value, we then go ahead and model the complex relationships as this information moves and transforms. How does billing relate to shipping, relate to document delivery, relate to uh, day sales outstanding and accounts receivables? How, what sort of dimensional elements reference that information? And so all of that is modeled here inside of Click Compose. And the best part about this is once we've done this modeling, we actually then come over and materialize it. And what happens is we create a lot of these ETL statements. In this case, we're creating over 1,000 ETL statements that are automatically generated by the by the program, by Click Compose, and are then pushed down into Google BigQuery. The data never gets extracted out of BigQuery and transformed like some ETL solutions might do. This is all pushed down into BigQuery. The data never leaves and all the processing is done inside of BigQuery. So we create these data warehouses, then we create these analytical data marts. And we can see here that we're creating them for being able to consume that information by subject area, sales order, scheduling, billing, shipment uh, documents, and etc. And again, all of the important and relevant dimensions that help describe that. We are also conforming the dimensions into single material tables, for example. I'm not going to have one dimension with four additional lookup dimensions. It's all in one single view. So that makes it a lot easier for users to be able to snap in and use these data marts for doing analytics. With the transformed data in the data marts ready for us to perform our analytics, let's go ahead and use ClickSense to go ask some questions of the data. And we're going to go ahead and start by picking an application. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to understand something about our day sales outstanding. Show me the DSO. We can see here now that it lets me know that our DSO is 20.23. Well, I want to dive into that a little bit. I want to look at our day sales outstanding by country. So I'll just click on by country. And I can now see that, aha, looks like Germany has our highest day sales outstanding. But what if I want to ask a complicated question? Show me the number of late units by customer name when the DSO is over 120. 
as we can see, we ask a very complicated question of the system, and our NLP engine will go and find that information and bring it back for us. And we can see here that looks like Motorsports is our number one with late units shipped. We can now explore this further and start going into the application and start doing further analytics. And at this point, again, what's interesting about what we've done here inside of Click is that we're covering all the facets of the orders to cash process using the Google BigQuery engine underneath. And that allows us to see not just billings or shipments or orders or payments, but all of them at the same time. And what I can do now is take a look at this and look at some of the sheets of information that we have and see that I not only have the ability to look at orders analytics, I can look at fulfillment analytics, I can look at all these different subject areas that normally would be an independent report all at the same time with ClickSense. So now I'm looking at our fulfillment information. If I want to go look at our billings analysis, I can see how we're doing with our billings. Or most importantly, if I actually want to come over and understand the particular flow of a document, I'm going to come over and choose a specific order, and I can now see from order when it was created on 6-17-99 to the last payment completion of the order on 12 27 99 and all the metrics for that order as it moves through. Not all the order was able to be fulfilled at the same time, so it's split into multiple shipment documents, multiple billing documents, multiple accounting documents, and I can see all of that on the same screen. That's what makes ClickSense powerful is that we're able to span all the different facets of the orders to cash process and investigate those individually, while at the same time being able to work an entire order from creation to completion. Let's talk a little bit again about what the impact of this integration is for both SAP customers, Google, and Click customers. Again, the goal is to show the fact that we have this robust integration with SAP, being to deliver the data on time to those analytical users that need it, all inside of the Google Cloud Framework. In conclusion, the value of the Google Cloud Cortex framework is to reduce the risk, complexity, and cost, getting the data to the users who need to make decisions with it faster, and providing a launchpad for future innovation by integrating this data into new areas such as AI and ML. Working together between Click and Google Cloud provides the best framework for accelerating this delivery of SAP data to analytical users who need to make business decisions. Thank you very much for your time.